Welcome to Band Teacher Tech. In this edition, I'm going to show you how you can use WeVideo to screen record. And so I'm here inside of WeVideo. I got there by going to WeVideo.com. And what's really fun and fantastic is that every educator in Loudoun County Public Schools gets the premium version of this site already paid for, don't have to pay for anything, and it is a great tool. So I'm going to give you a real brief overview about how you can record your screen for things like back to school night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the login button. No need to sign up. Everybody's already signed up. Go ahead and press login. You can press login with Google. And you might have to enter your credentials in. So it would be your first name dot last name at lcps.org and then uh, your lead password. So it'll bring it to this screen where what you're looking for is you're looking for the recording button. So you have a choice between video, recording, GIF, or podcast. So we're going to do recording. But before we do that, we're going to set up our project. Because if we just hit recording right here, it's going to ask you for certain prompts and it might get a little tricky to figure out and you won't do it. Uh, at least that's the way I was the first time because I was really confused as far as which buttons to press. So this is the, the simpler way to set up a recording. First thing is you want to click on projects at the top. So you look for the Wii Video logo, you have dashboard, and then projects. So let's click on projects. And yours might be blank here, but we're looking for the create new project button. And we're going to give it a title. So I'm going to call this Back to School Night. Uh, description, best video ever. Why not? You know. And of course, so this is going to be something that's personal. So it's you're the only one making the project and, and doing that. You can also do things like collaborative projects uh, with this. What that means is that one person at a time can make edits. So it's not a live edit like a Google Slides would be. But it's something that's interesting. But for this video, I'm going to click on personal and hit next. And then it's going to ask you to ask to add media. We're not adding anything to this. So just press next. Project created. You got a little checkbox. Feeling good. Feeling great. I'm going to hit create video is my next step. And it'll say select a template. And of course, you, you have templates here. You also have a library of templates to choose from, but for the sake of today, we're just really focusing on recording your screen. We're gonna do the blank edit and then hit start editing. It says we're getting things ready and it takes you to this screen here where all of a sudden you have a lot more buttons, but it's okay because we're gonna look for one button and that is the record button. And so it's right, oh, if you aim for the We Video logo and you go down a little bit, and to the right, you hit this record button. It's going to open the video or screen recorder. And here I have options. So I can choose webcam only. So if you just want to record your face uh, talking through things, you can record just your webcam. It's like right here. You have an option to record just your screen. So in a minute, I'm going to open up my Google slide for back to school night. You can record just your screen with a voiceover. Or you can do the combo screen webcam. So I'm going to click on my combo, hit next. So here, what I did was I pressed the record button, and it brings up this window here where I now have the option. I'm making sure I set my webcam up. I make sure I set my microphone up. And then I go ahead and press next. And then, it wants, and then it's going to give me a couple windows here that I have to choose from. So I can record my entire screen, which I'm going to highly discourage that for, for any kind of video because you might have uh, some bookmarks across the top you don't want to show. You might have some programs that are open. So we're going to avoid that. There's also an application window, which is interesting because every application, you can, you can pick one of those and record separate. But what we're going to look for is a Chrome tab. And I'm going to look for my Google Slide presentation. And then I'm going to press share. And when I do that right now, it is uh, recording automatically. So there's no countdown or anything like that, uh, which means that right now it's recording us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press present. And it's going to open up my slideshow. And now I'm going to begin. 
Hi, welcome to Bramlett Middle School. My name is Bill Peterson. I am the IFT here, and I am so excited to be able to support all the amazing teachers and staff and administrators, and especially all the students that are part of this Brambleton Middle School community. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you and your student have a great start to the school year. So now I'm done my video, and all I have to do is press stop. When I do that, we video stops the recording. It gives you no prompts, no little alerts saying that it's finished. All I have to do is navigate back to WeVideo now. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate back over to WeVideo. And you can see here, I now have a preview of what has happened. So of course I can preview it. So there's no countdown or anything like that. Uh, which So I, I like it. Don't hit record again if you just hate your voice. So if you hate your voice, you hate how you look, you hate this, you hate that, like, just go with it, okay? Because we love you and your personality and your voice and how you look. It's all good, right? The only way you would hit record again is if you said something that you didn't mean to say. So maybe you mixed up a sentence or you forgot to say a sentence or you forgot to highlight a key point. Those are times where you re-record, not just because eh, it doesn't, I don't like my voice. Just, just let it be. It is okay. So uh, back to the, the video. Uh, that was my life coaching part. Now we're back to the, the technology part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press save. And what it's going to do is it's going to drop your video on the timeline here. And so, of course, uh, I have some different things I can do to this to, to make it a little better. So you remember how before, like you can see here on the screen where uh, it, it kind of, I wasn't presenting yet. What I can do is I can hit this preview button. Exactly. So there's no countdown or anything like that. So you can see it's kind of like off the, off the screen a little bit here. Uh, I can always readjust things to maybe see it a little better. Maybe it'll fit. It doesn't. So I can do some things to, to make some little adjustments to this to spice it up. So I can always uh, double click down here in my video. And you can see here, for some reason, it's scaled up to 1.28. I can change that scaling down to 1 and press Enter. And you can see here, now it actually fits the entire screen, which I like. I don't mind the bars on the top. It's cool. It was trying to, like, resize it. So that's for just this background video. And there's a video over top, which is the webcam. And you can think of this like a pizza where, you know, you have the dough on the bottom and then you have your toppings on top. This is a topping is this little video button here. So if I go to video two and just kind of click on it, I can actually, I think I can double click this video. Maybe if I double click it, there we go. If I double, so what I did was I double clicked in video two. So anywhere you want opens up this little prompt and what's cool is you can move this around on the screen. So maybe I want this in the bottom corner rather than the top. Kind of cool. I can also scale this to make it bigger or smaller. Oh, that's too big. Let's put it back. Uh, I think it was 0.3. So it's something I just kind of hit that. Of course, you can also like rotate it and flip it around, whatever you'd like. So it's just some of these other little things you can do with it. I'm going to go and press save changes because I like that there. So now we are, we're getting kind of close. So I kind of made some little revisions here that are helpful. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hold of this. This is that little blue playhead here. And I'm going to drag it. So you can see as my as I drag the video, you can start to see a little demon. Start to see up here. It's changing where the video is. So I'm going to scroll to where it starts. And you can see here it's kind of like spread out and doesn't really look quite right. Um, and that's where I'm, I can continue to make adjustments or I can just let it be either way. So, but if I hit the little play button, you can see where I'm at in the video. Put up my slideshow and now I'm going to begin. Hi. So you can see, uh, like I started the talk and I'm kind of like making just minor little tweaks here as far as where I wanted at. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this the whole first part out and there's a little scissor button but what i'm going to do is i'm going to scissor the top one and then i'm going to click on the video right underneath of it and i'm going to scissor the bottom one so i scissor both parts so i scissor the dough of the pizza and i scissor the toppings 
and on the new on my keyboard is press the delete button delete and then I click on the top part and hit delete and you can see here I have two parts now and I need to drag them over to the start so I'm just dragging them over okay so now we're feeling good so now I got the start of the video so now if I press play hi welcome to Bramlett Middle School my name is Bill Peterson I so now I have the intro down really good. I love this intro. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of scroll across to the end of it. So somewhere around the end, I'm going to figure out where I ended at. Oh, somewhere around here. Dude, have a great start to the school year. So you can see here, that was my end. And of course, I have a little bit extra, which is okay. I can use my little scissor button. Let's use some scissors. We're going to snip the bottom one because that was selected. You select the one on top, hit the scissors, and then just the same way we deleted out the intro, we delete out this last part. So I'm going to delete both of those out. So now we're feeling good, feeling great. You have a video. Now, of course, you can, at any time, like if you feel good about this video, you can press the finish button. But what I'm going to do is if you want to hang here for a little bit, I'm going to add a couple things that maybe are going to spice it up a little more. So what I can do here is I can add some transitions. So I might do a fade to black at the end of it. So which I can dip it to black and all I do is I click hold it and then I drag it to both parts of the pizza. And you can see it makes a little icon here and that's going to tell me it's going to dip to black. So if I go ahead and hit the play button. Great start to the school year. You can see how it fades the black really nicely, which is a nice little effect. You can also do the same thing to the for the front of it. For the front of it, I can do a cross, uh, if I do a cross fade, I think we'll do it. And some of this is a little bit of trial and error, but if I now open it up and start it, oops, let's actually hit play on this. Nope, that's not right. Hold on a second. Let's come on. Harry, come on, we video. You love me. Sometimes it just needs a little love. Hi, welcome to Bramble. So you can see here how I had a nice little nice little fade in and it's feeling good and feeling fresh. I'm gonna add one more thing to this, just one more. And I'm gonna add some audio to this. Because you know what? Why not just mix it up a little bit more? So if we video has these free video tracks, it also has some premium music. I would encourage you to click on premium music uh, and then click on some different soundtracks. So you can see here, uh, I'm going to click on some feeling. I'm gonna click yeah, I'm jamming away now. I'm going to click on this light background music. Same way I did that transition, I click and hold it, and then I'm going to drag it down to where it says audio one. I like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play my video. Hi, welcome to Bramble Middle School. And you can see here it's just too loud, so it overpowers my video. So you have a little audio button here, volume. And I'm just going to crank that all the way down to like 25. And you're going to notice a difference when I hit play. Hi, welcome to Bramble Middle School. My name is Bill Peterson. I am the IFT here, and I'm so excited to be able to support all the amazing teachers, staff, and administrators, and especially all the students that are part of this Brambleton Middle So, man, I'm jamming away, feeling good, feeling great. So I kind of scroll to the end here. I can hit, so I have this selected. So I want to make sure I kind of cut it at the end. You know, I can delete the rest of it out. So I just want to make sure it ends right here at 22 seconds. And then in order to kind of do that same kind of fade, it's a little different where if you kind of see this blue line that goes across your audio, if you click it somewhere, if I double click or click once, it makes these little dots. Those are just little checkpoints and I can grab the end checkpoint and then drag it down to zero. So you can see here how it fades. And have a great start to the school year. So it does a nice little fade there, which is great. So I'm feeling good. I got my video ready to go. I'm going to press the finish button. It says save title for your export. So I'm going to call this back to, oops, to school. Man, I can't spell. Holy cow. It's, I hit a button. Try it again. Back to school nights, Peterson video. Okay. I like that. So I'm going to set it. It's going to give you some options. We're going to rock and roll with HD. 
We're going to keep it in WeVideo. I'm going to choose a thumbnail for this guy, and I'm going to hit export. And what's going to happen? My video is going to say it's going to be exporting. It's queued up, so it's waiting in line to do its thing. Of course, it says they'll send me an email when you're ready. So once you get that email, uh, forward that over to me so that way I can get your Wii video link, put it into the back to school night um, Google site that we're making, and it will be awesome and amazing. So that's my Wii video tutorial about how you can do a screen record in Wii video, do a couple quick edits, look like a rock star. Just make sure you share that Wii video link with me at the end, and it will be amazing. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.